Hey guys, so I'm here in Ireland right now and I thought I would do a quick video showing you what's in my travel makeup bag for this trip. I actually started off by spending a week in Connecticut with my family. So it's about a little over a two week long trip. Still probably a little too much makeup for that amount of time. But that's okay. The most exciting thing I brought along with me on this trip is my Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. So I've had this for a couple of months. I've been getting some use out of it. I'm wearing colors from this palette on my eyes today. It's a really beautiful selection of warm tones and some glittery, sparkly shades. Really been enjoying this. I've also brought along my Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. This is more of a daily use palette. Um, it's really good for traveling. It does have my favorite brow shade, which is this one right here. This is the powder I use every day on my brows. So I had to bring this along, and I've also been getting some use out of these peachier tones at the top, as well as some of the warm browns. I'll use this palette on days when I don't want to break into the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, or if I want a matte eye rather than something more sparkly. I also brought my Lorac Pro Palette. This, as you can see, <laughs> this is a pretty well-worn palette. Um, it's another good one for travel. It kind of has everything you need in it. Although, I have to say I haven't been using this as much on this trip for whatever reason. But it's still one of my favorites, although it is... The unfortunate thing about traveling with it is that my mirror did break here, so... Just be aware of that if you're traveling with it. For base, I've been mixing the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream and the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Towards the beginning of the trip, I was self-tanning a little, so I needed something that I could mix in to make my usual IT Cosmetics CC Cream a little bit darker and more tan. So this works perfectly. This is in the shade St. Moritz, which normally would be really dark for me. And then this is in the shade Fair. So mixed together, it was a perfect combo. Now that my tan is faded, I'm just using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. But when I'm traveling, I do like to bring two options so I can always blend and mix to make my perfect shade. For concealers, I have a similar situation. I have my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer, which is one of my favorites at the moment. This is in the shade Fair Neutral, but this was a little bit too light when I was wearing, when I was mixing with the NARS. So this is perfect as a concealer shade for under the eyes for me right now. But earlier on my trip, I was mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers in Fair and Light. Light is just about the same shade as my skin tone when I'm tan and then mixing with fair made it just a little bit brighter for under the eyes. Back to eyeshadow palettes. This is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette in, this is the palette number two. Um, it's kind of got some nice grayish, um, purpley tones. For the first half of my trip, I was actually only using this palette to create my daily eyeshadow look. I was mostly starting off with the shade in the middle and then I would, I was doing my base with the shade in the middle and then a little bit of this lighter color towards the inner corner and then this um, lavender gray sparkly shade on the center of the lid. So that was a nice combination. For powder, I have my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I think pressed powders are easier to travel with than loose powders for obvious reasons. I have hit pan on this one, but I, I really like this powder. It's not too drying, I find, on my skin. For contour, I've mostly been using my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. This is a really nice contour color for fair skin. I also brought along my RMCA Highlight and Contour Palette in Light. I use this this morning. When I'm on the paler side, I'll just use this lighter shade right here, which is perfect. I do find that this works best when I mix a drop of oil into it. I normally use my Josie Maron Argon Oil when I'm at home, but I had this tiny little Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops Oil, so this one was perfect to travel with because it's so petite. For blush, I brought a few options. I've got these tiny little travel size NARS blushes in Gulu and Orgasm. I've been using mostly Orgasm, I think just because Gulu is a little bit farther down the bottom of my bag. I don't know, no particular reason. These are both really nice and I love these size for traveling and they have a tiny mirror in them. 
For cream blushes, I've been using the Ilia Fine Romance blush. This is actually what I'm wearing today on my cheeks. And I'm wearing a little bit of this on my lips as well. This is a lip and cheek tint. I also brought along my Becca Beach Tint in Watermelon. This is one of my favorites as well. This one's actually waterproof, so I think I wore this to the beach one day. For highlight, I brought my Hourglass. This is like a little mini Hourglass um, incandescent strobe light in Ambient. This is one of my favorite highlighters recently. It's more subtle. It's not like such a strong, glittery, intense highlight like the Becca highlights can be. It's kind of a more soft highlight which I like, and this lighter shade is good for fair skin. And for days when I want a more intense highlight, I brought along my Cover FX Illuminating Drops. The label to this has been completely destroyed. I've had this for a while, I think. But this is a really nice product. I wish it did come in a slightly smaller bottle. This is kind of a heavy like glass bottle to bring traveling, but it's good for highlighting, just dabbing on the cheekbones like I did today and blending with a beauty blender or you can mix a drop of this in with your foundation, which I was also experimenting with during my travels. Oh, I forgot I brought this. This is my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Sand, which is kind of like a medium shade for me. I don't, I wouldn't usually use this in the winter or I think it'd be a little too dark for me right now, but this is a lovely foundation stick. For liner, I brought my two Kat Von D Trooper liners. One is black, one is brown. Mad Max Brown and Trooper. These are a favorite. And I also brought my Ardency in pencil liner, although I haven't used this at all yet. I did have lash extensions towards the beginning of my trip, so I wasn't using any mascara then, but they've sort of mostly fallen out now. So I'm back to using mascara. I brought along the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is a new to me product. I really like it. Um, it's kind of, it's very volumizing and kind of clumpy, which is something I like in a mascara. It, I think it's supposed to be sort of like the benefit, wait, no, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I think it's a pretty good comparison. This one maybe has a little more separation to the lashes than that one does, but I'm definitely a fan of this mascara and it's much cheaper than the Too Faced one. Oh, for bronzer, I brought along my Tom Ford bronzing powder in O2 Terra. I like that it's a little more red-brown rather than orangey. I think that's more flattering. I also brought my lower lash mascara from Pixie. This is really nice. It has a tiny little wand, so it's perfect for the lower lashes. I brought my Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom brow gel, my favorite brow gel. But for lips, I have been using these. I brought the Clinique Chubby Stick in curvy, Curviest Caramel. My Marc Jacobs lipstick in Role Play. This is like a pretty nude that has a little bit of a sheen to it. I brought my ColourPop Lip Satin Lip Liquid Lipstick in Echo Park. This is like a nice pinky nude as well. And then I brought two lip glosses. This tiny little Chantecaille Mini Luminous Lip Gloss. I don't even know what shade it's in. Oh, Fig it says. This one's really nice. It's like a nice berry tone on my lips, and it's so cute. I love it. I also brought this uh, Laura Mercier travel size lipstick in Bear Babe. Bear... Bear Baby. This one's a little bit too pale for me, I think, sometimes, unless I put another lip color under it. And I also brought my NARS lip pencil in Cruella, which is my favorite red lip pencil. I haven't rocked a red lip yet, but it's always good to have one on hand. I also brought MAC Whirl. I actually forgot I brought this. I'm gonna put this on now. I brought my pencil sharpener, which I think is getting everything in my bag dirty, because I'm seeing little pencil shards. I've got my NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. I brought my Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow glitter doe foot thing. I think I did use this one day to do some glitter around the eyes. Uh, my Benefit Professional Primer in the mini size. And my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So that's everything I brought in my travel makeup bag with me. I haven't found that I've needed anything more than I have. Maybe I have a little bit too much since I haven't used a couple of the items in there, but I think overall 
did a pretty good job packing for my two and a half week vacation. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>